Hey everyone, it's Brenda with Stampin' Up. I wanted to make a little video and talk about the color refresh that is going to be coming with the new catalog that comes out in May. They are going to be changing out some of the colors um, that are in the annual catalog. And of course we don't know yet what ones will be going and which ones will be staying. We do know, of course, that the in colors from 2022 to 2024 are staying because that's good for another year. There will be a new set of in colors coming. Now that doesn't mean these will definitely be retired since they're doing a color refresh. Some of these may make it into the, um, the annual colors. Um, We've got the brights and the regals, the neutrals, the subtles. So what does that mean exactly for us? Um, they do a refresh about every five years. And they bring back a lot of uh, in colors that were from previous years. I did find some uh, colors on... Another demonstrator's website, stampwithbrian.com. So if you wanted to print this out, um, you could find it. Um, there has, our current colors have got 16 colors that started out as an in color. Um, that's current. Um, so this kind of gives you an idea of all these in colors. And 16 of these were um, made regular colors in the annual catalog. So in my research I found that in 2013 there were 10 colors discontinued and then they brought back nine colors and they introduced a brand new color. In 2018 they retired 17 colors y'all. That is a lot of colors and for a new demonstrator like me, that's devastating because I have a lot of colors uh, currently and I have these circled. Let me see if I can find my pen. I, ha I have a pen. I do have Flirty Flamingo. I have all of the colors that are circled. That's what that is. And... If they retire a lot of these, I'm going to be in big trouble because I'm going to have to buy a lot of these colors uh, with the new ones. So 17 colors the last time. So I'm hoping that they will not con discontinue that many. Um, so 17 were, re 17 were retired and then they brought back six of the, uh, I, I assume, were in colors. And so I'm assuming that there were 11 new colors introduced. And I think that's true because I know Gorgeous Grape and Granny Apple Green and I think uh, Highland Heather. I think those were all brand new five years ago. So we do know that there will be two returning colors, which are, let's see if I can find them, Lost Lagoon. Uh, that was a 2014-2016 in color. And then Pretty Peacock, which was more recent. Um, here. Now that looks a little bluer than... I When I printed this out, I think this is a little bluer than it actually is. I think it's a little more kind of like the Lost Lagoon. I'm not sure. Um, so... Those two are making a comeback. Uh, so we do know that there's two coming back. Um, I'm not going to speculate on what's going to retire, but I'm kind of fearing that it will be Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana because Lost Lagoon is in that color range right there. So I'm not sure. So anyway, I wanted to make sure that you know this. So this we've got a couple more months of the annual catalog. If you have any ink pads in your stash and you do not have the reinker, 
you want to get that reinker as soon as possible because that is the first thing that usually sells out when they do a color refresh. Uh, the next thing is usually the cardstock. So any of the colors that you have in your stash, if you um, don't have the reinker, you want to get that before they announce what's going out because once they do, they they will go and sell fast. So that's just um, a little information I wanted to throw out there to you to make a little video. And uh, I can't think of anything else to say, but um, like I said, um, they have, you know what, let me see. Um, what I didn't think to say was, okay, so with the color collection, they've got the cardstock, they've got the ink, uh, the ink pads and refills, and then they've also got the Stampin' Blend markers, um, and most of you are familiar with those, I'm sure. These are the alcohol ink, and then they also have the watercolor markers. They've got pastels, and they've also got watercolor pencils, and I'm assuming that these will all be uh, retiring or changed out anyway, because if they're going to do a color refresh, unless they keep all of these colors listed, these are all going to have to be revamped as well. So um, that's just a little information for you, something to think about. In the next couple of months, um, we're going to be finding out, I think, March 29th, what the new catalog is going to have in it and what colors will be retiring as well as stamp sets and dyes and everything else that will be retiring. The other thing, every year, if you're new to Stampin' Up!, if you're not new to Stampin' Up!, you already know this, but all of the Designer Series paper in the annual catalog will definitely retire. They never carry that over as far as I know. So if there's any of the paper in the new catalog that you want, you're gonna wanna get that as well. These have already been retired, I think. I think they've already sold out of those. Um, this is the texture chick that I, um, cheek chick, I don't know, um, that I used the other day, which is really pretty, I like that one. So all of these will be retired. And uh, I guess that's it. I just wanted to fill you in on that. And um, as soon as we're able to tell you what is retiring, I will be letting you know. But in the meantime, keep in mind that if you need re-inkers for any of your pads, you do want to get those before uh, they announce the list because there will be literally people will be up at midnight or whatever the time is so that they can go on there and order. I guarantee you they will sell out fast. So anyway, have a great day. Have a great weekend. And I will see you back here next week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.